Hi folks, Mike from Minnesota here. Um, welcome to my channel and uh, thanks for joining me. Today, uh, today's show is going to be uh, Pickled Northern Pike. Um, if you like this video and my other videos, please hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything, but it just allows you to go on to YouTube and find all the other videos I've done. So uh, today is going to be Pickled Northern Pike recipe, and if you recall my ice spearing video, um, I uh, speared two northern pike. I filleted them out, and it's those pike that we're going to use for pickling. So when you fillet pike out for pickling, you don't have to worry about the Y bones, so you get a lot more meat. Um, you just fillet it out, clean out the rib cage, and then take the skin off. Now, when you do that, northern pike have to be frozen for at least two days before you pickle them. You can't pickle them fresh. I'm not sure if that's the same with other fish, but I know for sure it's northern pike. So today I ended up with one and a half pounds of, of pike with the live bones in there. I had frozen them probably for four or five days. And uh, what we're going to start is the phase one of the pickling process. Uh, I'm using Jeff Sundan, a guide up here in northern Minnesota's recipe for doing it. And there's three phrase, uh, phases, I'm sorry, um, that you go to. Phase one is the salt brine phase. So I took my pike out, thawed them out, and then I, uh, I cut them up into about one inch pieces. What I look at when I cut them up is the size of uh, pickled fish I want to put on a saltine cracker. And uh, so I have those set up. Now I use the first phase is a salt brine, which is one cup of pickling salt and one quart of water. So I am using two quarts of water and uh, two cups of uh, salt. I'm gonna put this in here and if it's too much, I'll just dump some out, that's fine. Now this will be uh, wrapped up and kept in the refrigerator for exactly two days. So uh, when we come back for the next phase, I'll be, I'll be showing you that phase, which will be the uh, uh, vinegar phase. Um, when you go through these phases with the fish, it, uh, it brines them and it softens those Y bones so that when you're eating it, you won't even taste them. So I'm going to put this in my brine and uh, I'm going to wrap it up and put it in the fridge for uh, two days. So two days from now, I'll be coming back and we'll, we'll start another uh, video. I just wanted to uh, mention that uh, I caught a, two more pike. Actually, yesterday I entered the Brainerd Fishing Extravaganza uh, Fishing Contest, which was pretty interesting. It was done virtually so you had to do it through an app that they had fish donkey and uh, after you catch a fish you've got to take several photos of it and photos on a uh, bump board where you put the nose up uh, uh, nose of the fish up to their uh, top and then you can see the measurement after you squeeze the tail and uh, so so far I've got uh, one no, I caught two northern pike, a uh, 20 and a half inch and a 19 and a quarter. And they take the largest fish that you caught and enter it into the contest. And I'm not so sure if I like this whole idea of uh, the virtual thing. We'll see how it all comes out. But uh, there, it, it was fun to participate in it. Uh, there were, I don't know, I got, I'm yet to find out how many people are in the contest. But uh, what they have right now so far there's no leaderboard there's sifting through over 10,000 photos of people that have submitted and there's 4,100 people that have submitted entries into this thing it's, it's it was kind of interesting it was fun to do so um we'll be back in a couple more two more days to uh enter into the uh i'm sorry to uh to, to enter, yeah, to enter into our second phase of this uh, uh, fish pickling uh, process. 
So we'll see you there. Hi folks, welcome back to the second phase of the pickling pike recipe. Um, I had the uh, pike pieces, northern pike pieces, in the salt brine in the refrigerator for two days. I brought it out and drained them in the colander and we don't rinse them off. And then I, uh, I added vinegar to the pieces just over the top and now they go into the refrigerator for two more days. And after that, we'll come back and we'll be doing the uh, finishing brine. On a side note, uh, the Brainerd ice fishing extravaganza results came in and I did not make it on the leaderboard. Um, but I had a fun time. I caught two pike that I'll be either pickling or maybe even doing a different recipe with. Um, I was telling a friend of mine up here what I was doing today. And uh, he told me that uh, he has a recipe that they got from an old Finlander. And they uh, put the pike pieces in a salt and vinegar brine for seven days. And uh, I'm going to get that recipe and take a look at it. And I'm especially uh, interested in the finished brine and what, how they put that together. So, um, oh yeah, and the Brainerd thing, uh, um, I, I certainly had my chances. Um, I could have made it on that board. Uh, it was just fun doing it. I had, especially in the dark house angling in there, I had over a 30 inch pike come in and look at my uh, sucker minnow. And it seemed like he was sitting there forever. And then he turned around and swam off. And uh, I'm like, geez, I wish you would have ate that bugger if he would have. I would have been on the board for a possible prize, who knows. But um, it was a fun time. So we'll see you back here in uh, two days for the finished brine process. Hi folks, well welcome back for the third and final finishing brine uh, part of this pickled pike recipe. For the fun of it, I did a little uh, search on the internet for other names uh, for northern pike. Up here we call them slimers. But uh, so there's slimers, snot rockets, hammer handles, jacks, jackfish, snakes, and water wolves. I uh, did to mention a few. Uh, but in any case, I must tell you that I enjoy eating northern pike, whether pickled or fresh. And uh, I have spent the time, I actually uh, spent some time in a uh, fish cleaning house watching a group of guys who are staying at a local resort clean northern pike. They are from Indiana and they come up here every year. All they fish for is northern pike and that's the fish they love eating. So, um, so I watched them and after I watched them I started taking or started keeping more pike and spending the time cleaning them and removing the Y bones. Maybe people don't like them because they, they take a little more time to clean. But I'll tell you what, um, northern pike in a fish fry is absolutely excellent. In fact, I would bet you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between a northern and a, uh, and a walleye. In fact, I've had fish fries and uh, have included northern in there. And, I couldn't tell the difference and no one else eating the fish could tell the difference. So that as a, as a side note. So, or whatever you want to call them, let's call them uh, jackfish, uh, was in the refrigerator for two days, 48 hours in the vinegar brine. I took it out, uh, drained it, and I made my, uh, my final brine and I cut up uh, onions for the brine. And in this brine, we've got three cups of sugar, with four cups of white vinegar. You heat it and uh, slowly dissolve the, the sugar into that mixture, cool it down. Actually, I took it outside and put it on the porch for a while, cooled it down. And then you add uh, one cup of uh, sweet wine and a quarter cup of pickling spice. And just so you know, this recipe, it's a pretty simple recipe, recipe as far as ingredients, but it's the process that's the big thing. And uh, I will have the recipe, the process uh, included with this video 
in the description. And that's the tab that has an arrow on the right side of the video. When you're watching the video, you hit that tab, you get a drop, drop down menu, and it'll show you uh, the recipe and process. So with the wine, um, all of the old time, old fashioned, and even this recipe calls for silver satin as the wine to use for pickle pike. Now they quit making silver satin and uh, a couple years, a few years ago, I uh, had the opportunity to come across some, so I picked some up and I used it. And uh, to me, the, the, the pickled fish was, seemed a little too sweet to me. So I consulted with an, a wine expert, my sister Maureen, and told her I wanted a white wine that was uh, just a little sweet. And she told me to pick up Chardonnay. So I'm using that in this recipe and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Um, hopefully I don't have to throw it out and uh, go fishing for more pike. I'd have to go do some more fishing, darn it. But uh, I'm okay with that. So I did one jar and I lay layered the fish, onion, um, fish again, onion, so on and so forth, all the way to the top. And uh, then I added the, uh, the brine. But I learned something doing that. The next, next jar I do, I'm going to layer some fish and onion. I'm going to add a little bit of the brine so that those uh, spices that are in there that float will be incorporated all the way through uh, the quart, quart of fish. And I, I tried pushing some of this down, some of it worked, but next, I, and I think I will eventually get some of that down there, but um, that's, a, that's a good tip to remember when you're adding the brine uh, to this layered fish onion process. Um, that's, that's about it. I'm going to uh, finish up with these jars and my fish. I may have to uh, make some more brine, I'm not really sure. may have to cut up another onion. It's not a big deal. After I'm done packing all my jars, they're going to go in the refrigerator for seven days. And after that time, they're all of the fish, the pickled fish will be ready to eat. Um, it's going to be excellent. And saltine crackers, piece of fish and onion. It's going to be excellent. So uh, I think that's it for now, folks. Uh, thank you for watching uh, my show, uh, doing pickled pike. Until next time, Make every day a great day. God bless.